Hi, it was Mr. Lim here again, and we're going to start about polymerization and polyesters and polyamines. All right, so we're going to be learning about polyesters. Duh. Um, okay, polyesters, what are they? They're condensation polymers are polymers where the combining of monomers creates a small molecule as a byproduct, uh, most often water. So this is something that they'll say is like, oh, put these things together and then uh, see if you remember to add the water. So just remember uh, condensation polymerization, you need to have water as a product as well. All right, polyesters are when carboxylic acids and alcohol uh, functional groups are used to create the links between the monomers, and ester groups are formed in the process. Okay, so a carboxylic acid and an alcohol, when combined, form an ester group. And what we're going to do is we're going to make uh, them really long chains um, when we add lots of these things together, and the small molecule is water. All right, and just as a thing, I know that you say that esters are fruity, but polyesters are not fruity. Okay, so let's have a look. Polyesters can be formed from a monomer with two carboxylic acid groups and a monomer with two alcohol groups. Okay, because the idea is that here's your monomer with two carboxylic acid groups and your monomer with two alcohol groups. Uh, okay. Okay, so what happens is that this one bonds here, okay, and then the next one over here can bond together as well. Okay, so the idea is that because you've got two things on each, two functional groups on each um, monomer, they can bond together and then you alternate between them to become um, a really long chain. All right. The backbone uh, chain of all the atoms between the car two carboxylic acid groups and the two alcohol groups. Okay, so here, that's a backbone atom, that's a backbone atom, that's a backbone atom, and that's a backbone atom. Because these are the uh, carbons between the uh, carboxylic acids and the uh, alcohol groups. Okay, um, so let's try ethandiol with propendioic acid. Okay, so let's get rid of this. Okay, let's first of all draw out our two monomers. Okay, so ethandiol, let's do that in red. Ethandiol, and I really should have said ethan 1, 2 diol because um, that's what I'm going to draw. Ethan 1, 2 dry diol, and propanoic acid in green and blue. Propanoic acid, propendioic acid. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to add one of these ethandiols here all right and that alcohol here is going to combine with this carboxylic acid here to form an ester group okay and so remember the r dash side is on this side and the r side is on this side all right so what that's going to form is that i'm just going to change it in color to form this coo now this c here is actually part of the blue chain okay so I'm going to just change that color there to blue, All right? And then it's now that CH, then another C, and then another ester group, all right? And this time, like that end of the molecule and that end of the molecule is joint going to combine. So it will look like CC again, all right? So, um, that is uh, one and a half repeating units, so I'll draw another repeating unit, okay? So then we go back to an O, uh, which is going to a C, which is bonded to an O, and a couple other Cs, okay, which is double bonded again. And with that there, okay, okay, and let's just draw out these hydrogens here, one hydrogen here, one hydrogen here, one hydrogen there, da, 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 da. and you get the idea, okay? so. A couple of things with these monomers, I don't know if I said it before, you need to leave them open-ended so you can show that that's there. And if you remember from the very beginning, this is one repeating unit because it has both monomers in it, that's another repeating unit. So this is two repeating units. If you asked to do three repeating units, you'd have to draw it all over again. All right, so um, you've got to see that this uh, ester group here combines and form, or well, the alcohol and the carboxylic acid group combines to form that ester group there, and then uh, it's the opposite way for when uh, it goes on the other side of that molecule. Okay, so you'll notice that the backbone 
the backbone of the chain are all the atoms between the two carboxylic acids and the two between the two alcohols. So between the two alcohols, there is that one and that one, which is that one and that one. And then between the two carboxylic acids is one, two, three, one, two, three over there. Okay. So that makes up the backbone. And then you'll notice that the oxygen is also in the backbone. Okay. So there are oxygens in the backbones every so often as the ester group. Okay. Let's have a look at the number. Four octandiol, uh, one four octandiol and ethyl butandioic acid. Okay. Why did I make this so difficult for myself? Okay. One four octandiol. Octandiol. Okay, so octan. One four octandiol. Okay. And then ethyl butandioic acid. So butandioic acid. One, two, three, four, butan, dioic acid. Oops. Okay. There's an ethyl group on there. So that'll just be like, I'll just draw it here. Because it actually doesn't matter which side I draw it on, because wherever it is, it's going to be on the number effectively two carbon. Okay. And so there's my two monomers. So let's draw this one out. Okay. So this red one here this octandiol, it's got four carbons between the alcohol groups. So those are the four carbons that are going to be part of the carbon chain. These four carbons over here, well, let's go put them in green, well, let's go put them in orange. These four carbons here are going to have to be a side group because now we go to the ester already. Okay, so that's the ester there. Okay, if this is number one carbon, if this is number four carbon, then I'm also going to have on the fourth carbon, one, two, three, four. Oops, that's not even four, but you get the idea. One, two, three, four carbons on that uh, number four carbon. All right, so that would be the five, six, seven, eight carbons here on that upper group on this um, on this on this molecule. Okay, so. That's what we mean by the uh, backbone of the chains are all the atoms between the two carboxylic acids, all right, and the two alcohol groups. So let's try this one here. Um, one, two, three, four, four carbons as the backbone of the thing between the two carboxylic acid groups. And then there's going to be a one, two, an ethyl group somewhere there. And this one's going to have this ester group there. All right. So... This is how many repeating units shown here? That's one repeating unit because it's one repeating unit of all of the monomers. Okay, so one repeating unit of all the monomers. Um, you'll notice that this uh, this carbon here uh, with this side group can be on the left or on the right. Just depends on how the um, the molecule goes if it's flipped around and stuff like that. Okay, so that's polyesters. Uh, in terms of a dioic acid and a diol. However, you can make a monomer with one carboxylic acid group and one alcohol group. So it has both a carboxylic acid group and an alcohol group. All right. The backbone is all the uh, carbons between it and hydroxybutanoic acid. Let's try that. Okay, so hydroxybutanoic acid, after this I have to be quick. Uh, butanoic acid and 2-hydroxy, which is here. Okay, remember we number it from the carboxylic acid. Um, here are all the carbons. Okay, so let's draw this out. Okay, so only two carbons are going to be part of the backbone because they are the ones that are between the carboxylic acid and the alcohol. So two carbons and then the ester group. Okay, and then another two carbons. And then the ester group. Now, what you'll notice is that one side here is effectively the alcohol side. Okay, so that's this side here is this side here. That's that thing there. All right, and this side here is this side here. Okay, so those are the parts of that uh, est that monomer as it gets turned into the polymer. Okay. So then we got to add in these extra two, or oh, color should we go black? These extra two here. So they'll have to go on the carbon over here. OK, 
okay and then um, you'll be able to see where those are there okay so how many repeating units is that that's two repeating units okay um, of all of the monomers present okay and so you'll notice is that this thing here uh, the ester groups are all lined up in one direction okay before the ester groups were in both directions oops okay so that would be an ester group in that direction but here all the ester groups are in one direction because you're making them from one monomer so you're all lining them up um, the same way okay so that's uh, how to make a polyester here's another example for you to try a 5-hydroxy-4-ethyl pentanoic acid and if you have any questions come and ask me adios